Hi everyone, it's Anna, and we are here with Fall of Porcupine. All right, let's check it out. Fall of Porcupine is a story set in a healthcare environment. It contains plot points that deal with issues relating to stress, illness, death, and self-doubt, among other things. Please pause the game if you feel unwell and consider contacting family, friends, or a professional for support. All right. Oh no. Oh, I can walk around. Uh -huh. Oh, it doesn't look like we can go leftward, so let's go right. Our eyes are like flashlights. It's crazy. Oh, there we are. Oh, we look a little shaken up. Hey, Finley, you're finally awake. Eh, why the long face? Oh, nothing. I, I just wasn't expecting to run into my houseplant. Who did you expect? Your washer, maybe? By the way, we gotta talk about her. The way my pot vibrates when you set her to spin. No, I, I don't know. I think I'm looking for something. Oh, really? What would that be? I have no idea, but it was important, and I think I've lost it. Well, if you don't remember, it couldn't have been that important. I'm sure you can wait, buddy. You think so? Of course, come on, relax. Just take a look at this meadow. Bask in the lush grass, soak up the sun, and groove to the soothing tunes, dude. How can you worry when you see all that? Yeah, it's good to be out in the sun. I'm not sure I hear any music, though. Oh yeah? Wait a minute. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's back. There we go. Better? Yeah, I like this. I kind of turned the music down, so... But yeah, we're grooving. <laughs> Coolamundo. Just leave y let your leaves dangle. Just let your worries take a hike, man. Yes, yes, I should do that. I just need to relax a little bit. Great, that's what I want to hear. Lost things just turn up eventually. So go find yourself a comfy spot. Make yourself at home, my man. I might. I'm gonna have a little look around. It's so beautiful here. I wanna pick my spot carefully. The choice is all yours. Just relax your frazzled feathers. That's the main thing. Enjoy, Finno. Whoa, we run too fast. We start sliding. All right, let's see where we are going to. That's our friend again. Oh, well, hello there, ombre. We meet again. How's your, how's the relaxation going? Did you find the person you were looking for? I literally just started. <laughs> uh, it's going quite well. I don't have a clue person. It's going well. I haven't been outside like this in a long time. It's easy to forget how much good it does you. Word. Once I find my spot, I might just stay. That sounds great. So what are you gonna do now? I don't know yet. Who's the big guy behind you? What? Oh, him, that's Hugo. We went to university together. He's great to climb around on. I used to do that all the time. He won't let me anymore though. Not since I had aphids. <laughs> Wanna give it a try? Sure, why not? But I don't think I can get past that giant flower. Hold on, we'll have that sorted out in no time. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Hugo's quite ticklish. You need to be careful when you climb on him and don't break any of his leaves. Oh my. Do we actually get to climb him? Oh, we can. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Whee! Oh, no, no, no. Climb up. <laughs> Hello, Finstar. Up here. Oh, how did you get all the way up there? I'm a plant of many talents. I'm not allowed to climb here anymore, so I had to come up with another solution. What do you want to do? I don't know yet. Maybe I want to dive into that water? For real? I thought we were gonna chill, man. Besides, that looks mighty deep. I think so, yeah. Maybe what I'm looking for is down there. I just want to check it out. Whatever floats your boat, chief. <laughs> are we just going to dive down there? Oh, we are. Do you not need oxygen to breathe? Oh, is there a friend here? There you are. Y you know me? I ne never p pass up on a g good time. <laughs> are you freezing? I'm going to c catch a c c cold. Then you'll need to t take care of me. Go shopping for Mamma me. <laughs> do my t taxes. <laughs> oh gosh, poor flower. Alright, wants to get out of there. Can we keep going this way? Yeah. Ooh, 
There's a little statue. Isn't that the statue from the town square? Are you in charge of the water here? Can you hear me? I'm looking for something. Maybe you've seen it. No response. How rude. It's a statue, my friend. It's not going to respond. Oh, we made it. <laughs> to where? Who knows? Oh, we leave, we leave, wow, we leave little footprints. <laughs> what took you so long, bud? You're looking better again. Hey, who can be down when you're down at the beach? Oh my. All right, what are we looking for? All right, so Finley over here is looking for someone. A porcupine. My assumption is that he got into like a car accident or something because of the crashing sounds and now he's oh my goodness he's flying <laughs> i don't think this happens in finley's world real world oh that's a puffy cloud ingrid nice to see you here do, do you know do you happen to know where where mr arndas is mr arndas i was looking for mr arndas He's a patient of ours, and he disappeared. I was taking the elevator and something went wrong. Oh no, is that the crash that happened? Oh, poor Finley. All right, well, she didn't say anything. Oh, look at these look like little office chairs. Oh, there's the elevator. Let's go ahead and take it. Oh, we're going up. Okay. Oh my, it's a portal. <laughs> Mr. Arndas has to be here somewhere. Hello, Mr. Arndas? Can you hear me? I'm trying to go through this dark and spooky office and office hospital floor. Oh dear. Okay. Alright. Let's find who we are looking for. It's like an obstacle course. Oh, there's like some weird liquids on the floor. Oh, is that our patient? Hello? Is someone there? There are boxes full of documents and folders on the old hospital bed. Strange place for an office. I guess everyone has their own take on interior design. The bed almost looks like an actual desk. Maybe I should... Ugh. There's someone back there. Mr. Arndes, is that you? I don't think you want to see who's over there. My friend, look at all those drops of... liquids. That's blood. It's still fresh. And you want to keep going? No, don't step on the blood. Yucky. Um. Oh. Mr. Arndes, you're bleeding. Don't move. Uh, what? Who? Who are you? Just stay calm. I'm going to help you. Is anyone there? We need some help here. Hello? Oh, no. Oh, that's what happened. We had boxes fall on top of us. Probably suffered a concussion or something. Good morning. St. Ursula's tasks. No tasks available. Notes. Mia. Mia started as an intern on the same day I did. It's her first job too, but I'm impressed by how much theoretical knowledge she has. I think I can learn a lot from her. So we're like an intern at a hospital? Cool. Carl. Carl is a nurse on my ward. He approached me on my first day after talking directly to Dr. Kukowski. He has been at St. Ursula's for a long time and knows his stuff very well. I am very happy to be able to work with him. He's well known and loved by most people in Porcupine. He took me to Gilbert's. There, I met some new people from Porcupine. Cool. Pina. I met Pina on my way to work. She's very nice and has a flower shop in Porcupine and she's my first real contact here. And then she gave us her little talking plant friend. <laughs> Ingrid. Today I entered a hospital as a resident for the first time. Ingrid welcomed me and roughly explained everything to me. She's the heart of St. Ursula's. I'm just concerned about her snacking and coffee consumption. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's start with mom. Well. Alright, so he's moved to Porcupine. Cool. Work is hard. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, actually taking an unscheduled break right now. Had a little accident at work on sick leave for a few days. Bump on the head. Oh gosh. 
Oh, his mom is so supportive. She's asking if <laughs> he needs to come by. Oh, there's also brother. So we have the brother. We have... I can't scroll, really. I don't know how I managed to click on the brother. Oh, there we go. All right. It's funny. He's the only one without, like, a picture. All right, Pina. This is our friend, Carl. Forget about it. Order yourself a pizza instead. Oh, my. Mia, hope you're feeling well again. Glad you're coming back to work today. Maybe we'll have time to chat. Then you can finally tell me all about what happened. All right. And then I'm curious. Oh, Krakowski. Dr. Krakowski is my senior resident. She has internal medicine one on the third floor. And I'll tell you how it is. I'm a little scared of her. During my first few days, she made a lot of demands on me. I tried to live up to her standards, but I didn't always succeed. Oh my, we are not doing well. <laughs> Man, another of those weird dreams. I feel really groggy. Feels like I haven't slept at all. Maybe I should just give up sleeping altogether. No, that is not the assumption you should make. Isn't he supposed to be going to work? <laughs> Come on, Finley, time to get up, up, up. All right. Oh, that's our plant. <laughs> we don't actually have a talking plant, unfortunately. Poor Finley has such a busy life. <laughs> Do you want some coffee before you get ready now? What? How do you change so fast? I got a heap of mail when I first moved here. Porcupine isn't big, but it was still kind of nice. <laughs> How cute. I'll say it, we're not eating or anything. We just changed clothing and we're good. All right. Nope, can't talk to you. Some people have a bakery within walking distance. Or a grocery store. I have a used clothes container. Different, but just as practical. So let's go ahead and figure out where we work. We'll use our concussion as the excuse for why we're prob probably late. He's going to take it if no one uses it. <laughs> oh, we have a little male man, meow lady. Morning, Finley. Running late. Hey, Susie. Yeah, I had a restless night. Crazy dreams. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. <laughs> Alright. Well, we're meeting our local residents. Alright. Oh, what did we... Do we get a task or something? Alright, we met Nosy Susie, so let's go ahead and keep going. The bus is out of service. I don't know. Old Town and the High Street. Penis store is there, but I should check out the street when I'm free sometime. All right, so I guess let's go down. Hey kid, road's still closed. Can't let you through here. All right. How do I get to the hospital? All right, why is it closed? Construction work today. Let's take the other street then. Our decision-making options are now limited. Where did you come from? Okay. I won't question it. <laughs> okay, let's finally make it to our workplace. We're running late, so we might as well pitter-patter on over there. It's a broken bus stop. Oh, who do we have? Goodness, you're a fast walker. <laughs> Good morning. No, no, I'm just running late. Late for an appointment, is it? You know, the more time passes, the less I believe in the idea. What idea? The idea of being late. Are you new here? I've never seen you before. Yes, actually, I started at St. Ursula's Hospital a few weeks ago. So you're a doctor? Yes, well, almost. A junior doctor. That's marvelous. People like you are just what Porcupine needs. My name is Adele Von Witterstein. I'm Porcupine's oldest citizen. Uh, cool. When you have a moment sometime, I know a lot about the town. All right, thank you, Adele. It's Gilbert's. Who is this? Good morning, Giuliano. Long time no see, Finley. Yeah, I was laid up in bed for a while. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be all right. That's good. So this probably is just giving us descriptions on who we've met. I was broken for a second. <laughs> all right, where do we work? This marvelous building right here. Oh, it's the statue we keep seeing in our dreams. 
statue of Ninoslav Honorat. Honor <laughs> it's a statue of Ninoslav Honoratus, the founder of Porcupine. Nice. All right, let's keep on pitter pattering our way to our job. Oh, well, that looks promising. <laughs> Just keep going up the hill and eventually we will find the hospital. My oh my, he talks a lot. Yes, this wasn't here before, now it's here. <laughs> what is this? There's a plaque on the tree. This ancient bark has stood here since the foundation of the town of Porcupine. Nice. Let's leave the big tree alone and let's eventually reach this hospital, which is like on the other planet or something like that. Alright, let's go ahead and get to this looks like the bear from our dream <laughs> all right let's go buddy we have places to be and things to do we made it we made it to work good old vending machine a handy source of breakfast more like snacks but yeah i've never met a bird that goes on such long tangents <laughs> until today what does he just magically change all the time? Hey, it's our friend. Morning, kiddo. So you're back, huh? Morning, Ingrid. Yes, my injury is he healing up nicely now. I heard about your accident, of course. Everyone's heard about it. <laughs> you want to hear my theory? Sure. This might sound a bit complicated, but the evidence speaks for itself. I've s thought it through several times and it all makes sense. So what do you think? I've only known you for a few weeks now, but it must have something to do with you specifically. Really? What do you mean? Well, uh, we have a name for that kind of thing here in Porcupine. A sophisticated technical term that aims to define the social and anthropological characteristics of a phenomenon. What? The term is... Klutz. <laughs> How's Mr. Arndes? The old duffer's still alive, making himself cozy in his bed on your ward again. All right. On the third floor, in case the dent in your noggin caused more damage than we thought. All right. Well, thank you, Ingrid. All right. So the third floor it is. Can we go anywhere here? Okay. So there's a lot of places, but I'm gonna go ahead and go to the third floor. Um, all right. Well, let's figure out where we're supposed to go. There's an arrow pointing to the right. Maybe this way. Oh no. He looks so angry. Ah, Finley, half an hour early. That's refreshing. Just like, just what I like to see. I'm early? Really? Of course not. You're horrifically late again. Let me guess. The bus didn't come. Oh, don't be rude. <laughs> Find a way to get here on time. <laughs> All right. Start with room 301. Are we going to be discussing this together? Oh, so here's Miss Martin. Okay. Good morning. You're very late today. Tell me about it. <laughs> Miss Martin's in a hurry to get home. That's a good sign. But you still need some rest. Okay, Miss Martin came to us yesterday with pain in her upper abdomen. She was also complaining of heartburn, nausea, and loss of appetite. Yes, but the real reason was a sharp pain in my heart. I panicked and called the emergency doctor. That was exactly the right thing to do. Anyone have any ideas? Mia? Me? Well, come on, spit it out. And, uh, yes? Ulcer? A stomach ulcer? Is that a question or your answer? My answer. Bingo. The reason for the symptoms is a stomach ulcer. We still have to investigate the cause. So far, there's no indication of gastritis or anything along those lines. Okay, Miss Martin. We'll probably keep you here one more night. We'll check on your readings again later. Just try to relax. Uh, Finley, you'll take care of Miss Martin's medications later. Let's continue to in room 303. Chop, chop, look sharp. Ouch. All right. We have nothing to say about that. <laughs> All right, 303. Well, Larissa, how are we today? Quite okay, Doktorski. It's good to hear that. Can you take a few deep breaths in and out for us? Like last night? <laughs> oh no. Sorry, Dr. Krakowski. No problem. That was very, 
Very good. How's it going? All right, how are you doing? I was down at school with the others. We were at the back of the skate park. I can't skate that well. I just got the board for my birthday, but I definitely want to learn. My board is super cool. Oh my gosh, can you just tell me what happened? It was like this. My buddy Christo stole some cigarettes from his stepdad. He said, if you want to be a good skater, you've got to smoke too. It's all a part of the deal, he said. I really didn't want to, but I didn't want to be a chicken, you know? I was still out of breath from practicing. He lit the cigarette and I took a drag. Super gross. I don't get why grown-ups seem to actually like those things. Oh no, he couldn't breathe. <laughs> then I passed out. Luckily my friends called an ambulance quickly. So yeah, that's it really. Oh my. What do you think, Finley? Hmm, I know Dr. Krakowski already told me. Don't go to away, Larissa. Oh, okay, sorry. Asthma, it could have been an asthma attack. Yes, as it sounds logical. Indeed, logical and correct. What a stroke of luck. Without the help of my assistant, Larissa, you probably wouldn't have thought of it. <laughs> All right. Last stop for today is room P33. Oh, and Finley, you already know this patient. It's Mr. Willie Arndus. I assume the name rings a bell. Oh, gosh. Okay. Permanent guest in her ward. Oh, no. All right, well, let's go, go, go. Where did they go? Oh, they went that way. Okay. I thought this is like by itself in the corner. Oh, he's a friend. Mr. Hydric, to what do we have the honor? Why, Mr. Arndt's, of course. I heard he was on the mend. I have to say, I'm very relieved. The whole thing is rather unseemly from an insurance perspective, but I was also very worried about our patient, of course. And let's not forget our junior doctor here. I hope you're back on your feet. Oh my. It's an insurance agent, or not an insurance agent, but just checks that everything's good. We'll be taking personal responsibility for the matter. I've arranged for Mr. Arndis to receive the very best treatment available. That's why we've secured him a place in the best rehab clinic in the country. He'll be well looked after there around the clock. The rest will also help with his age-related dementia. Speaking of which, I'm glad I bumped into you this morning, Dr. Krakowski. Oh, really? Yes, indeed. Would you do me a favor and assess Mr. Arndis' condition later today? If you can discharge him... If you can just charge him with a clear conscience, let me know. Then I'll arrange the transport right away. Understood. Oh, and if you need extra hands on your team, I'll see what I can do. A healthy infrastructure is essential. We don't want our staff overworking themselves and then calling in sick. Good luck. All right. Yes, anyway. Good morning, Mr. Arndus. You know, my daughter looks exactly like you. Yes, yes. Well, isn't she the lucky one? How are you feeling today? I just told you, didn't I? I'm afraid that must have been before I got here, Mr. Arndis. Well, what are you doing here then? I'd like to find out how you're doing and take a look at your dressings. One's lunch today. Straight after this. Okay then, go ahead. Finley? Hmm? Yes? Mr. Arndis suffers from dementia, but is still relatively fit, as you can see. He injured his leg as a result of the aforementioned incident. He also suffered a moderate concussion. Finley, would you be so kind as to change Mr. Arndis' dressing? It's important to keep the dressings fresh. We can also take a look at the wound. You want me to change the dressings right now? We can ask Mr. Arndis if he wants to do it himself if you prefer. He can't be any worse at it than you. <laughs> All right, I'm doing it. Um, am I supposed to be doing something? Oh, oh that's so weird. Okay, the, the keys were different. Oh, I was pressing the wrong keys. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Arndas. I'm very pleased to see you. Hmm? Do I know you? Yes, maybe. There was an accident, do you remember? I want lasagna today, but hold the salad. I can't stand all those leaves. Mr. Arndas? Finley, what are you doing? Do you want me to bring you some tea and cake? All this stress has been hard on Mr. Arndas. Now, let him rest and do your job. I just wanted to... Uh, okay. All right, treatment. Your patient is in your hands. Press and hold the buttons shown on the screen to administer treatment. Make sure you only press the buttons shown on the screen. 
be as quick as possible. Don't release any of the buttons as long as they are displayed. All right, let's see. Oh gosh, that was bad. <laughs> Look at that. The dressing may be rather average, but I'm happy with the condition of the wound. Okay, we're done. Mia, Finley, come with me and I'll give you your tasks for today's shift. M Mr. Arndis, I... Gosh, all right, gim crack a gim a cree, oh no. All right, let's see what our tasks are today. Don't know where we're going. Oh, you're already going? What? How do I know what my tasks are? Oh, how did she get all the way over here so fast? All right, there you are. Back to full health, I trust? Yes, all good. In that case, I look forward to a smooth shift. I'll activate today's tasks in your app. The walls are crumbling, but they still find money for dig digitalization. <laughs> I don't believe in these electronic patient records, but Hydric and Theobald won't stop singing their praises. All right, tasks. All right, so we have three patients to see. So let's go 301 first. Let's see, who do we have? Okay, our friend over here. Hello, there you are again. All right, Miss Martin. All right, Miss Martin has always had heartburn and a lot of stress recently. Lots of arguments with the daughter. Jobs got me pulling out my hair. Oh no. I'm gonna start by prescribing some medication. All right, prescribe the right medication. Try to get all the patient's readings to their optimum levels using as little medication as possible. Each type of medication affects two different readings. Okay. Okay, so what do we wanna do? It looks like the red needs to be increased. Think. Up and the orange goes down. Ooh, okay. Uh, I want to get the red and the blue up, so let's do one of those. I think that should be good. It's all within the black line. Let's sign off on it. Treatment complete. We got an A. Yay. <laughs> all right. Okay, well, I should hope she feels better. All right, Miss Martin, have a nice nap. All right, so we did 301. Doing 303. It's our friend that decided to try smoking. <laughs> hey, Doc. What's your name? Hey, Larissa, I'm Finley. I'll be examining you over the next few days, okay? Nothing to worry about. I'd like to listen to your lungs. You mean you want to put that freezing cold thing on my chest? I'm afraid so, but don't worry, it's not that cold. I don't know. Actually, I guess it is a bit cold most of the time, but it'll only be even for a moment. You think you can manage that? Hmm, yeah, okay. Shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Take up thy a stethoscope. Jumping hearts, rattling lungs. Press the buttons shown on the screen at the right moment. Hold it. Wait, what? Wait, how does this work? Wait, what? No, I failed it. Why would I? <laughs> Can I redo it? I don't get it. I did so badly on that. Can I do it again? <laughs> I was using the keys, but it didn't seem to register it but we'll keep you here for a while all right do I have to do anything about it try to make yourself as comfortable as possible okay hopefully tomorrow we can do that better because that was horrible and the last patient is 304 good morning miss Helmig you've just had thyroid surgery right how are you today I'm very thirsty talking and swallowing are difficult 
That's very understandable. Please take it easy then. All right. Okay, so let's see. I'll take a look at your dressings. All right. All right, we did that. That was better than whatever we did last time. <laughs> Looking good so far. Everything seems to be all right. Try to talk as little as possible. Okay. <laughs> all right, feel better. Um, I don't think doctors would be very happy about that second patient that we saw, but not much I can do this time. Hopefully I don't get fired. All done. How was it? Uh, pretty good, I think. All right, let's see. Oh, no. I got a B. Yay. <laughs> Average performance. That's unfortunate. Oh. I advise you to stick at it and improve your work. Watch, listen, and most importantly, gain practical experience. I'll continue to monitor your progress. Who knows? You may still surprise me yet. Okay. I have another task for you. I'm giving you the opportunity to save me some time and get to know the hospital a little better. Sure, what, what can I do? I usually go to the lab in the basement. Just keep following the stairs until you get to the bottom. The door is on the right, but you can also take the elevator if you like. I've sent some blood samples to Dr. Halil and I need the results. Can you manage that without injuring yourself again, Finley? As long as the stairs don't collapse underneath me, I should be okay. Lab basement. Got it. Should we take the stairs? Let's take the stairs. All right. Nothing too crazy. And down one more floor to get to the basement. No, that's not where we need to go. Uh, so I guess to the left then. Should really move this box. It's a tripping hazard. All right. Um, locked. Uh, hello? See the red light above the door? Uh, that, yes. Uh, good, excellent, well then. <laughs> so I'm here to... Okay. <laughs> Dr. Krakowski, is it? I see. That does alter the parameters somewhat. Do you want to see a magic trick? Uh, I'm not sure. Yes, yes, of course you do. Pay attention. Ta-da! Wonderful, isn't it? And I haven't even stood up yet. Can I go in now? What do you think? You see a green light, don't you? All right, let's get in there. <laughs> let's meet this doctor. Oh, it's a pretty lab. Looks nicer inside than outside. All right, here I am. Whoa. What are you doing here? I was outside the door. I was just talking to you. Fascinating. And? And what? The, the light, was it green? Yeah, it was green. Excellent. Look, I need the blood results that Dr. Krakowski asked you for. Ah, indeed, indeed. So why are we wasting our time chatting? Follow me. I think I have your results around here somewhere. You think or you know? Hmm. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. The documents you requested should be just here. You keep your documents in the blood refrigerator? Of course, saves time. I'm a believer in shortcuts, you know. The day becomes so much more efficient if one reduces the distances between A and B. My system is simple. It cuts down on sorting and filing too. And now you too can benefit from the fruits of my diligence. Well, if that's all. Oh no. I saw that coming. Oh no, oh horror. What a mishap. That bang made my heart jump. My whole system. I... Let me just put things right in. It, it'll be alright again in no time. Oh, woe is me. Can I help you? What do you mean? You want to help me? That makes me very uncomfortable. Oh, uh, that happens. Uh, let's see. Just a minute. 
All right, I don't know what I signed up for. This is gonna be fun. The samples got mixed up. You can fix it. Use Q and E to rotate. All right. Okay, so I'm assuming we do it by color. So this one would be blue. Or, I don't know, can we move them or? I'm assuming we rotate it so it's all the same color, yeah. Okay. Okay, um, maybe let's put you here. I'm gonna have blue anywhere so it doesn't work. Pink. you go here finally many many minutes later we did it oh and there's a party <laughs> there's confetti you see fantastic isn't it my system is infallible thanks thank you for your efforts i had better get back to my work um dr halil was there something else to your doctor the results for dr krakowski oh right why didn't you say? You know, I'm always happy to help, but I only have 24 hours in my day. Here you are. With my flawless system, I always have everything at hand. Enjoy. And please don't forget to close the door behind you. One needs to hear oneself think. Okay. All right. That was quite something. Can we just take the elevator up? Yeah, use it. Alright, let's deliver the samples. Here you go. Here are your blood results, Dr. Dr. Krakowski. And why did it take so long? Did the bus to the lab not turn up? Oh my gosh. No, I had to help Dr. Halil. You had to help him? Yes, I... Do you see Dr. Halil here, tending to the patients on the third floor? No, you don't, because that's not his job. St. Ursula's is a finely tuned machine. If one cog fails, everything grinds to a halt. Call it a day and take some rest. Maybe you'll feel a bit more up to speed tomorrow. See you tomorrow morning, right on time for the start of the shift. And try to concentrate a bit more when administrating your treatments. Got it. Have a nice evening, Dr. Krakowski. All right, we did our first day. We had our first day back at work. <laughs> Which is great, you know, returning to normal. All right, floor zero. All right, and we can probably say bye and then leave. Another day done. Any trouble getting back into the groove? You're only off sick for a few days, but it's funny how quickly you forget sometimes. I don't know, things didn't go too well today. Trouble with Dr. Krakowski? I don't think she likes me. Liking ain't got nothing to do with it, sweetie. Dr. Krakowski doesn't tolerate mistakes. She's a tough cookie. So make an effort, kiddo. Who knows, you might even learn something. I'll do my best. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. You too, see you tomorrow. Aw, she's so sweet. What the heck? Oh, we don't just flip flop when we pass the wall. All right, friends, we will end it here for this first part. There are probably gonna be many parts to this. I forgot how long the game actually is supposed to take, but we'll keep trucking along, but yeah. 
I hope you guys are enjoying this. It is something different. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.